Hello everyone, welcome back to another review video. Today, we'll be reviewing a recent action figure that has been trending more so on TikTok, but it also gotten a few rounds on YouTube as well. This has made a big impact in the Snickback community recently, which I'll get into more detail in a minute. This is a figure that goes by many names. The most popular one is the T-13, but it's also referred to as the Titan-13 or the Dummy-13, and more. I'll be referring it to as the Dummy-13, as that's the figure's proper name. However, I'll be using the T-13 title for a clickbait. <laughs> so, the whole backstory of this figure is that it's a 3D printed action figure that anyone can make at home. I personally don't have a 3D printer, so I outsourced. And I do think it's better, even though this costs more money. Um, from what I've seen of videos, 3D printing at home is not as good, and it seems more, seems more tedious. I recommend watching Chuzzle Films' video about his experience with 3D printing the figure from home. I will say, it wasn't made with his type of 3D printer in mind, but it still goes into all the technicals and whatever else when making a Dummy 13 at home. But how did all this begin trending? Well, since anyone can get the files and make their own Dummy 13, they just sold the figure and made their own profit from them, and this is exactly what happened. So, it's where the T-13 name came from, which is not the official name. Again, Dummy 13 is the official one. Uh, if you have little promotion, your product won't succeed, and unfortunately, the original creator suffered from that. And this ripoff used the Titan 13 name, or T-13, and promoted it all over social media, allowing them to get the money and not the original creator. However, in these ads, they specifically compare them to Stickbots. I do think the T13s are more in line with the Clickbots, but whatever, Stickbots are more popular. But um, I won't be comparing the Dummy 13 to the Stickbots because I feel like they each have their own benefits and flaws. Um, but if you want a deeper dive into this subject, I just gave a brief history. But if you want to know more, I recommend Clay Film's video of this. He gives an he gives a lot more detail of how it came to be and the explosion in popularity that happened recently. So that's why it's been trending in the Stigbox community is because of their ads. They've been targeting us. Well, anyway, with that brief history out of the way, why don't we get into the review of the Dummy 13. So I didn't open anything. This is how it came out of the package. So I bought it off of a website, as I stated before. I outsourced, again, I do think it's better. But, um, when on the website, it looked like it came in a box, but apparently it didn't, and it came in like this, so I was a bit disappointed with that. But, it's fine. It does look sketchy, but I hope it still seems the same. I think it'll still work. Again, I, so it did cost me $20, but hopefully, we'll see what happens. Anyway, here it is, so it came in this box. Here's the plastic bag that it's in and here's the figure inside so i will open up the bag and i'll let you guys see what it looks like outside the bag so here's the figure outside the box it comes with obviously the figure and then some accessories so over here we have two pistols it looks like a sword over here we have different hands so these are like the default holding something and then looks like a punching basically here's a little hat that it comes with and then these two are together but they're easily separated it's a bigger gun and it looks like a, like a halo sword almost but it's not that because it would be copyrighted but so that's what it looks like outside that's what everything is outside the plastic bag um i'm gonna rip these open so that we can actually take a look at the stuff individually and i'll see you guys after that all right, so now I separated everything um, from the pegs. So one thing I did note when cutting is here, actually. Here's the pegs that uh, the sword came on and also the pistols. But when I took them off, usually you can like, for products, you can like twist it off and that's easier that way. But for this, I actually had to cut them off. And you can see that there's like square brackets up here and here and here, uh, which are from the pegs that they were lying on so it's unfortunate that i had to first of all scissor them and that you can still see a little bit of remainings from 
what was on there previously but again it's understandable because this is all 3d printed so they all have to be um like secure and make sure that no problems happen with the actual weapon so i don't mind it i expected it to happen but it's still disappointing that it wasn't easy to take off and that you can still see parts of the peg anyway so here's one weapon the sword looks pretty basic it's nice um We'll see what it looks like when he's holding on to it. Anyway, here's another weapon, is the pistol. So it's small and it looks good. So the trigger is like one little thing down here, which is kind of funny. I thought that was a peg for a second, but no, don't get that confused with something to cut off. Over here, we have all the hand pieces. Here is like a, uh, just different fingers, um, different sizes. This one is looks like a holding one, so you can hold the sword or pistol or, I guess, uh, this halo weapon type thing. And the final type of hand is a full-on fist, which this doesn't hold anything. It's just a fist so you can, like, punch if you want, which is cool. I'm surprised they didn't have these two the same. It's cool that they gave us a different variation from holding fist and, like, a non-holding fist, which I think is cool. Uh, I did not expect that. Here we have the hat, which was didn't need to cut anything, which is good. One thing I will say is mine came dented here, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but it's okay. And it's also kind of basic. I will say it's square here. It's mostly a bunch of squares, but it works. Over here, we have the Halo type sword weapon. Um, nothing much to say here. It's pretty cool. It's a cool weapon to have, honestly. Um, and yeah. And finally, we have like an AK-47 type weapon, a big gun. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Not a lot of these things have much detail on them because again, it's harder to do with 3D printing, but that's basically it. Um, how about we'll go into a deeper review of the figure now. And here we have the actual figure, the T-13 or Dummy-13, which is the proper name. So when putting on the hands, it was actually not that difficult, which is good, but it is harder for them to move around, which I think is good and bad. It's just, it just gives me fear that I wanna, I'm wanna i gonna break the uh, 3D print, but I trust it enough. Um, so there's this hand, there's this hand. Um, Here's its head, which can come off. I think all these body parts can come off too. Well, actually, I don't know about that, but the arms can come off as well. I'm not gonna attempt it, but this can come off, this can come off. The head easily comes off compared to the rest of the body parts. Like, ooh, and that messed up my lights. But here's the arm off. Hold on, let me fix the lights. All right, so I fixed the light. But as you can see, it was a bit more difficult to take this arm off, which I think is good because that means it's very secure in there. The head, very easy to take off. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt this arm, but I trust it enough that it comes off as well. The legs, and again, I hit my light, but um, it was easier to come off, or it was a bit more difficult to come off as well. So, let me pop that back in, and then I'll fix my lights again. All right, the legs pop back in. Um, so what, cool thing about the legs is you can adjust it so it's on like an almost leveling system where i can make this leg lower than the other and this one moves i can make this leg lower than that leg and this one moves which is cool um so here we have a bent thing and you can bend his knee and then you got to the foot which you can bend the front of his foot a little bit which is very cool a detail that you don't really need but again this is a posing type of action figure so you got that this foot uh oh well it only moves up and down it can't really it can't move side to side it can only move down i guess so i guess don't really mess with the foot can't really move it too too much without it falling off which is fine i'm surprised of how much mobility it actually has actually hmm, this one can move a lot more compared to this one maybe i just need to fix it but anyway so it seems like the foot can move up and down and side to side but this foot i need to fix a bit later but regardless um 
here it is in its full glory some weird position kind of doing like a michael jackson type pose thriller um so you can also move this leg side to side like that if you want him almost like a zombie um but yeah his torso also moves up down so there's two parts of the torso there's like the upper part and the lower part the lower part moves everything up top the upper part moves it all moves these three options so this one the arms and the head which is cool to have a lot more options i think this figure is very cool for posability um i'm gonna practice some posing and um i'll show you what it looks like after but uh i guess one other thing to say about this guy is that it doesn't really show it too much on camera but he is red he kind of looks orange on camera but he's red he's a pretty good color too i like it um you can tell it's 3d printed uh it looks it it feels like it but honestly it's not like a bad 3d print either it's a pretty good uh printing of it which i think is good it feels very safe to like move around with there is a bit of fragility i feel since it is 3d printed i don't want to scratch anything and make it like ruined um but overall it's a pretty solid figure but i'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more and then i'll show you guys some poses i'll show you it with some weapons and yeah so give me a second and obviously it can't really stand on its own but you just need to pose it correctly so here's the dummy 13 with some accessories i gave him his hat which actually fit on him pretty well um i gave him the halo type sword which doesn't really fit in all the way as you can see there's still some sticking out i don't want to put more pressure onto it it doesn't stick that well and i gave him one of his pistols so overall it's pretty cool what i realized when messing around with this is when i pulled off his leg his, I think this socket became kind of a little bit looser, which I am mad about, but it still is able to pose, as you can see. The um, hat came on pretty nicely. It's, it's kind of stuck on there. It's easy to put on, easy to put off, but also it doesn't like, once you put it on, it's not gonna fall off, which is very good. Same with the weapons. Um, and overall, the posability is very good. Um, I am very happy with how this turned out, but I'm gonna do one more pose with the other weapons just to see how they fit, and yeah. And here we have the second set of weapons, so here's the sword, and here's the AK-47 that he's holding. And overall, it was easy to put in, it was uh, not as difficult as the Halo sword, and it looks pretty good. Um, one thing I also forgot to mention last time is I did fix his foot, and it does work just like this one. So um yeah that's what it looks like with the um his weapons inserted and overall the stance is pretty good i mean like you just want to make sure everything balances out like it's bouncing here but if you move his legs where they're different it's not going to balance obviously you just have to use logic in order to have that work which makes sense in my opinion um but yeah it is a bit fragile when standing you want to make sure that it's good uh, but overall, very good with the weapons, and I'll give you my final thoughts in this next clip. So, overall thoughts on the product? It's pretty solid, honestly, for what it's worth, at least. Um, if you really want a posable action figure that's kind of cheap, or you have a 3D printer and you want to make something, this is pretty good for that. I will say there are flaws, obviously, with the hat I showed in the beginning, that it's a bit broken here. And when, while playing and messing around with the figure, I did notice that there was a part here which doesn't look that good. And also just the whole this whole leg, after I ripped it off, it kind of isn't very like good to play with. This one, you can it stands up as it should. This one, I think I kind of broke it, but I kind of expected it to be very fragile with it being 3D printed, which is a flaw, but again, for what it's worth, I think it's pretty good. And overall, when putting on the weapons, when putting it into the hands, it works very well. It's easy to put it in, and it's a bit difficult to take out, but that's what it should be, I believe. So it's not, so it doesn't fall out of his hands, which I am very happy about. 
One thing I will say also is I did not expect the packaging to be the plastic thing back there. So I do wish or I do hope in the future that they make it look like the ones that they have on the website. But overall, I think it's pretty solid. If you want a cheap poseable action figure, I recommend this. Again, I, it's better for outsourcing, and I'm not going to compare it to StickBot. Both have their benefits and flaws. I don't really recommend this for stop motion, per se. StickBots were advertised for stop motion, so use that for stop motion. This one, you can use it, but it is fragile, so you have to be careful when you use it for stop motion. Um, but overall, very posable, which is very cool. I'd never had a posable action figure, so this is cool in my opinion. You can do so many poses. Um, but yeah, if you do want a more expensive one, I recommend other types. Uh, Clay Film, if you go to his channel, he has a bunch of other stop motion figures, which are more posable. Or not more posable, but like the same posability as the T13 and are better quality. But again, good for cheap action figure that you can either make at home or if you want just one to mess around with then there you go i recommend the dummy 13 and if you do want to buy it i recommend don't go to any other site besides this one as it's an official seller so it does credit the dummy 13 but they use the t uh, titan 13 title but so use that one to support the original creator that's what, where I got this guy. It does take time for it to come to your house. But again, supporting the original creator as you should. There, It is on Amazon and other sites as well. But again, just help the creator out. That's my best advice I can give. But overall, very solid product. And I understand the hype behind it. Uh, I don't like the advertising, but it's smart advertising, of course, comparing it to StickBot and T13. Again, both have their flaws and whatnot, but yeah. So overall, I like it, and I'll link everything in the description below the, if you want to order one for yourself, and also the videos that I recommended in the beginning. So yeah, this was my Titan 13, Dummy 13, T13 review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh!